The following picture was taken mm, maybe a month ago, uh, and we, I just didn't have the time to edit it. And now I'm going to show you where I used to go to school, Latlan College, and also the immediate area of Intramuros. That's what we'll talk about. Let's take a look at it. Of course, our first stop is going to be the Manila Cathedral, uh, which is very close, within walking distance from Letran uh, College. Uh, that's also close to Colegio de Santa Rosa, where my sister went to school. So, let's take a look at it. As I, as I mentioned, this is the uh, Manila Cathedral. Now, I don't recall having gone to or attended Mass at the Manila Cathedral, however, this is because it's fairly close to Letran College. It's a frequent place I go to just to pray and to visit because it's a beautiful cathedral. But, you know, I haven't really seen much change since the time I was in school there. Uh, there's a few and I'm pretty sure there are some repairs made, but they turned really this area into a beautiful tourist spot. I remember when I was there, we used to go to church, we used to go around, walk around, and not really mean much of us, because we used to live there. Now this is the crucifix of Jesus Christ, uh, at least it's a relic, it's a piece of the crucifix, right here, right here is the piece of wood uh, where Christ was nailed on the cross and uh, that wasn't there this is the side of the cathedral beautiful uh, scenic side then of course you have to take a break and uh, have some lunch first before we start touring the area so we went to max and we enjoy the food especially the halo halo anyway After, the, uh, after lunch, uh, we took a tour, you know, we're not like one of the uh, uh, young vloggers who will walk for miles and miles. Instead, we took the easy way out by taking a Kalesa ride. And it's exciting, it's it's good experience. And uh, nice thing to show the kids at home because they have never ridden in a uh, <laughs> horse-drawn car. <clears throat> and, uh, just look at the architecture. It's very, very Hispanic. Uh, I don't know why we did not inherit the Spanish language. We did get some, for example, my wife's dialect is Chabacano, which is a mixture of some, some sort of broken Spanish. But we never got the same Spanish as Mexico, as uh, <coughs> Puerto Rico, for example. Uh, it never really became uh, an official language of the Philippines. In fact, right now the second language is English and, uh, and not Spanish. But there was a time during my grandfather's time when Spanish was spoken. Now this is the area I was told that hundreds and thousands of Filipinos were uh, murdered uh, during World War II uh, by accident. Okay, so they were buried there and then we stopped by the uh, Spanish house, uh, a typical Spanish house, just to show you uh, what it was like. This is the original Spanish house. Of course, there were repairs made due to damage, due to war. But <clears throat> this is basically how the uh, uh, Spaniards built homes in those days, uh, made of stone, concrete, and uh, uh, you know what, I remember when I was still young, look at the windows up on the second floor. Let me see if you can get a better shot here. <clears throat> uh, those, those windows are made of shell. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, uh, let's take a look and see. <clears throat> uh, of course, it's not going to be Philippines without picture taking. Filipinos love to take pictures. I don't know what they do with those pictures after they have taken it. So this, look at the windows up there on the second or third floor. 
uh, those are made of shells made of shells I used to live in one when I was in the Philippines before our building became modernized uh, those are old homes I still remember it clearly or vividly third there's the window see all those little tiny uh, material that that's made of shells those are made of shells so it's sort of bright inside because it's like translucent and inside here I think is the courtyard the courtyard oh I remember this when I was in Mexico they have something typical in Mexico there's a courtyard where you eat lunch <coughs> Now this is the uh, is this Map I think Mapua Institute of Technology, a very good school for engineering, and this is all surrounded by uh, the walls of Intramuros. And right in front of these steps is the uh, Letlang College, where I used to go to school for both high school and all the way through college. Uh, this used to be an open CD. Uh, take a look at the, the, uh, the front corridor that used to be open. Now there are bars, I guess sign of the times. Uh, but that used to be wide open and uh, uh, we all roam around there in that uh, opening. Uh, let's see if we have a better shot. Uh, there you go. Oh, this is a favorite spot I used when I used to take photography when I was in uh, high school uh, and see all the bars now that that did not used to have any bars around it but sign of the times I remember uh, students from Lyceum were trying to do trouble uh, make trouble with the electronites and this is uh, Colegio de Santa Rosa as I mentioned that is where my sister went to school uh, at least through high, high school, I guess, uh, because I think college he went to uh, University of Santo Tomas. And huh, I did not know that this, this is part of University of Santo Tomas, UST. As you know, uh, UST and Latran are sister schools. I did not even realize that until now. Of course, maybe this guy is only making it up, but I don't think so. And uh, right in front of Santa Rosa is where Jose Rizal used to live which is right here. This is where Jose Rizal used to live in Intramuros and as you know he was shot, he was killed in uh, uh, I guess Luneta uh, and uh, that's, that's a very interesting view. I just wanted to see again where I came from, what the history is like. There are certain part of the history that I did not even realize uh, existed at that time. So it's, it's a nice memory to have. Uh, one thing we have not seen is the place where Rizal was shot. That is in, uh, what is it called? Is it Luneta Park or whatever? Uh, Rizal Park, I think it's called Rizal Park. So. Uh, maybe next time if there is an opportunity the the weather is getting really hot for us to visit that place and uh, This one is nice and comfy because we did this about a month ago and uh, the weather was not that bad yet So this is all I have for today. There will be more uh, on some of our trips uh, Maybe pre-recorded earlier and uh, I'm just showing it to you now So please do share this with others and I'll appreciate it if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so, please. That will help me a lot. Thank you so much. God bless and make it a great day.